He's showing the people your ass again, the dog. Good Lord, let me get my fat belly back here. All right, guys, it is a gray, gloomy day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization on this gloomy Friday. Where are we? May 27th or 28th? Somewhere in there, 2021. And, uh,. I think we're heading to 53 degrees, the high today in Ithaca, New York, today and tomorrow. Gloomy Memorial Day weekend, but since it is Friday, I'm going to do what I do every Friday, and that is uh, dive into my ecological meltdown roundup ramp, where we check in over at mongabay.com with Rhett Butler and the boys and girls over at mongabay.com to get an update on how this planet's going down the toilet this week i am running late i gotta get up to visit sister sandy from environmental coffee house maybe we'll do a live stream from over there figure out how to do live streams what do you think is it time to take this show live anyway but before we get out to visit Sancho's Aunt Sandy. We're going to see your Aunt Sandy later. Let's see what's going on around the planet while I'm driving through the rain. You will not believe this, that some big-ass chocolate corporation claiming it did not, I did not deforest the Peruvian Amazon. No, but science refutes the claims. So this is uh, one of these big ass, you know, to defend our God-given right to have Hershey bars every day of the year. This was about 5,000 acres of primary rainforest <clears throat> in the Peruvian Amazon. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, here we go. This is pretty, uh, every once in a while you get an amazing headline from Peru to Brazil. Brazil court orders illegal miners booted from Yano Mami Indigenous Reserve. Yes, a court has ordered a Brazilian authorities to remove all illegal gold miners from the Yanomami Indigenous Reserve in the Amazon following five days of attacks and intimidation by the miners against the indigenous village. The federal government has still not complied with the May 17th ruling. Do you think so? Uh, the attacks saw mine, the miners shoot at the village of Palamu, throw tear gas canisters, and station several boats nearby. Uh, the latest violent conflict between miners and indigenous groups followed a surge of land invasions and illegal mining in indigenous reserves and other conservation areas dubbed the Bolzo Nero effect. The Bozo Nero effect uh, after its chief enabler. Yes, the chief enabler. Now, of course, guys, uh, what Manga Bay rarely mentions, uh, and actually, I think Rhett declined to, yeah, Rhett declined to produce the article I wrote for them about when I, at least when I was in the Peruvian Amazon in a Peruvian indigenous reserve in 2009, the miners were the Amazon Indians. You know, the guys on the ground, they're not the guys who own the equipment, but it, the workers actually destroying the indigenous reserve were the Amazon Indians following me so I don't know I always read all of these reports uh, with a little bit of grain of salt we're not gonna hear about the actual Amazon Indians working on the gold mines not at 
Manga Bay anyway, and certainly not in Amazon Watch. Okay, so on, over on their YouTube channel this week, Red is looking into uh, this whole issue that we talked about last week. <clears throat> Does planting trees help with climate change? So you can go over to <coughs> Manga Bay's YouTube channel and learn about the, some of the truth about one of the not one of the big green lies. I'll call this a small green lie uh, about how reforestation as a solution to climate change. All right. Let's see. Is this Canada? This is drawing dots between Canada and Brazil. Specter of tailings disaster looms after spill at Canadian firm's Brazil mine. A spill from a pond at Canadian company Equinox Gold's mining site in Brazil's <clears throat> disrupted water supply for some 4,000 residents and stoked fears about the potential collapse of the dam. We've been through this before. Residents say the spill is just the latest in a litany of problems they attribute to the mine, which includes structural damage to their homes, air and noise pollution, and water contamination. Yes. Uh, anyway, you can look forward to a new environmental disaster in Brazil. Imagine that. You know, I've had this next rant about Manga Bay. Manga Bay is a little bit guilty of this very thing they're, they're writing about. Reptile traffickers trawl scientific literature to target newly described species. The descriptions and locations of new reptile species featured in scientific literature are frequently being used by wildlife trackers to quickly hunt down and capture and sell the animal, allowing them to be monetized for handsome profits while threatening biodiversity. New reptile species are highly valued by collectors due to their novelty yeah, and often appear on trade websites and fairs within months after their first description in scientific journals. And of course, the internet uh, has made the problem of reptile trafficking rampant. Yeah, so. Uh, you know, it shouldn't be that hard, uh, as Manga Bay is suggesting. <clears throat> Manga Bay has actually gotten better about this. They were a little bit guilty themselves of doing this. <clears throat> you know, discovering some new species already going extinct, <clears throat> and then advertising where you can go to find it. But maybe uh, the scientific literature will get a brain Yes. Here's speaking of wildlife trade, looking at, you know, Hong Kong being an illegal wildlife trade hub. Uh, 